G'day there, welcome to the race side. Today I'm going to be jumping into Star Wars Outlaws and the new look gameplay that we have gotten. This game is shaping up to look really, really exciting and I'm going to be giving you my review of what we have so far. So let's get into it. From what we have seen of the gameplay so far, Outlaw seems a lot more tactical and strategy based. The other thing I noticed is the sheer amount of worlds and environments we get to jump into. And that is something that is high on the priority list for me when it comes to Star Wars games. I'm interested in something that will expand the galaxy even more for me. Now talking about the gameplay. Comparing it to something like Star Wars Battlefront or Jedi Fallen Order, the combat system and missions here are much more complex and story driven. You can't just rush in lightsabers blazing or blasters firing. Instead, you need to be more calculated and smart about your attacks. What I also noticed from what we've seen is there's a lot less puzzle-like challenges that we saw in, say, Fallen Order and Survivor, while the challenges in these games focus more on the moving parts from A to B, which I enjoy, but I will also be very happy never to go to Zepho again. All right, okay. What am I damn doing here? I don't want to be fighting you all. Outlaws looks to be more about knowing the syndicates, understanding your enemies, and figuring out the best way to defeat them using a variety of abilities. So, no more button mashing, which I am definitely guilty of. Instead, you really have to rely on Kay's abilities and strategy and stealth to get through the missions, which I find really fascinating. And I think that's something a lot of people can get really into deeply as the game goes on. Our main character, Kay Vess, seems really interesting from what we've seen of her so far. Living that bounty hunter life through her eyes is going to be really exciting and I'm really excited to play as her as well as we, we you just can't go past mentioning ND5, the commando droid, that he just looks so cool. He looks so badass. And I, I love that they're making this character such a big part of this game, and I, and I hope he plays an even bigger part than we think. The side character of Nyx is also something I think is really sweet and fun and a, a, a very lighthearted addition to the game. I think it's going to make it just that little bit heartwarming, very similar to a BD1 for Cal in Jedi Fallen Order. I think it's going to have a very similar uh, experience. We see Nyx that Nyx actually has abilities and you can tell Nyx what to do. So similar to a BD1 to slice a door open or use as a, you know, a zip line carrier. I, Nyx has a lot of uh, abilities as well that is going to be useful and you need to use throughout the game, which I kind of love. Of course, one of the biggest talking points and the biggest aspects for me that I'm really excited to explore is the ability to jump on a speeder and travel somewhere in the world in the game. This is something we've all been craving in Star Wars games for ages. And, you know, just Jedi Survivor and even LEGO Star Wars gave us a taste of this, but they often relied on cutscenes or limited travel distance to, to get us there. But it seems in Outlaws, we're finally going to get that real open world freedom we've been wanting. Talking of open world travel, there is also a little bit of a Star Wars Squadrons vibe. We can see that we do have space combat back in this. This was a very small part of Star Wars Battlefront. And obviously the game Star Wars Squadrons was all about space combat. And I love how that they're kind of combining this in this game. I think with the promise of an open world flight feel to a lot of this game, I, I would have expected this, but I'm, I'm really excited to actually explore that part. Not only the bounty hunting, but yeah, just having this ability to have space battles like this, I think is something really cool. So those are all my thoughts on the upcoming game and I cannot wait to play it in August. It looks really interesting and I think it's going to be a really fun play for a lot of hardcore gamers and I just am so looking forward to it. Make sure you comment down below if you'll be picking up this game or your thoughts on the gameplay we have seen. Make sure you subscribe for more Star Wars community and entertainment. And until next time, make sure you always choose the race side.